So it feels like I have not been here in quite some time. And in all honesty, I haven't been. Been on the road, making trips, doing all sorts of things, but <clears throat> I have to get all the change out of all the dryers, clean, clean the dryer lints, um, get all the change out of the wash machines, do that sort of stuff. But uh, also I have just had somebody coming in here and trying to keep things clean. The laundromat does look clean, uh, so at least I'm paying good money to make sure it's at least clean, so it's clean. Now I'm going to get some quarters, but just so you guys know, I got a bigger bucket. Hopefully I can fill this bucket, but uh, yeah, I'm going to just start going and doing the dryers and kind of seeing what we got. Again, I haven't been here in a while, but it's uh, should be a good, good. Uh, let's see, it's been about two weeks, so it should be a good collection for two weeks. I really uh, enjoy when these containers are completely full and they are making some money but like I said I have not been here and things have been getting a little behind trying to record and keep up with the laundromat with everything else that I have going on but I still want to share and show you guys what's going on. I do have a video that I'm putting together about all my expenses compared to what I'm making to actually show you guys um, what I'm making. I haven't actually finished it, so I can't actually even tell you how much money I'm making. But I can tell you guys that I'm making money and it's paying for itself and I'm paying my bills. So I really can't say too much. Look at, there's a 1965 quarter that's a little rough just in the coin return. Looks like they uh, tried to use it, but didn't realize it didn't get accepted. That's like free money. So yes, I'm not exactly sure how much I'm making because I do have to figure it out, do all sorts of math. But I know I am making some sort of profit. I just hope that I can continue to make a profit. Look at Another free quarter. I'm never going to complain about those. So, yeah, I just hope to continue to make a profit throughout the fall and throughout the winter. So, as long as I'm making money right now, that's what counts. And I don't really care if I'm making thousands of dollars or if I'm just making hundreds of dollars if I can pay all my bills and at the end of the month still have a couple of bucks left over that's what I care about so now we can weigh that up and see what it's at and then I'm also going to check all of the washers but I'll get you a little Grand total here of all of my dryers. Got a couple of quarters, right? So we'll weigh that out, check it out and see how much it is. And then I'll let you guys know. Then I'm gonna get the washers and see what we made there. The dryers are all done, all counted, all that. And then now I'm going to start with the washers and start plucking away at the change in there 
and see what we made. So we'll start back here. Ooh, look at this, guys. Pennies. Not as fun as quarters, but hey, free money is free money. So just so you guys are aware, I have all of these little stickers on there. And then I have all these keys. And basically, each key for the top of the machine and the front of the machine is kind of color coordinated. So that way I can figure out which key goes into which lock and kind of make it a little bit easier on myself in order to open and unlock all these. Um, what I did with the dryer keys, which made it a little bit easier because they're all in order, is down here at the first dryer, all the way down to the last dryer, I just put the keys in order. So I know which machines now, just because I've opened them enough already, of which keys go with what, and then all I do is I just open it up, and then I take the quarters out, put it back in, and those four machines use the same key, that one uses the next key, then these four machines use the next key, then there's that machine that uses a separate key, which is those top two, or the top and the bottom, and then the last two use the last key, so it makes it a little bit easier for me to figure out which ones go where. Now, that's orange, that's orange. That means this key opens it up, empties it out, and uh, same thing with the next one. Orange key, orange dot, opens it all up, and... Uh, simple as that so trying to make things a whole lot easier for me and that has been one of the ways that I have made it easier is by taking and color coordinating all of the keys and the previous owner kind of had something going on similar to that but was not the same but I've just made it work for me and that's what counts. So basically what she had is she had letters written on each of the locks here and she would use the letters for the keys and that just made it a whole lot harder rather than trying to just color match. And the color match seems to to work out pretty good if I can get a key that actually goes all the way inside of there come on you got it but I'm gonna keep emptying all of these out once I get done I will definitely show you guys how much I made and like I said I do have another video that's gonna be coming out and that's literally just going to show you what my profits are, what my losses are, and what's all really going on money-wise for this place because everyone thinks for some reason that I'm just a millionaire automatically, and that's not the case. So I'll show you guys that stuff. I'll get this stuff counted up. I will tell you my bucket is a whole lot more full than normal i know i haven't been here in about two weeks again i shouldn't say that i haven't collected money in about two weeks but i'm still here a lot of the time i just come in i sweep i mop i fill up the machine to make sure that all the vending things are available and then I clean the dryer lint out, everything like that, and then I just go about my way and make sure the change machine is full. 
but I don't always get quarters. For one, it takes me about uh, about 45 minutes to do everything that I need to do without collecting the quarters. I try to only collect the quarters when there is nobody here. Um, just kind of seems like the right thing to do running a business. Um, not trying to, you know, show everybody in the world what I'm making here, but it just to me seems like the right way to do it and not have to do it when there's anybody here. So I don't always get to get here late at night. Um, right now it is, hold on, it is nine o'clock at night. So technically I am closed, but I was just coming through and I had to pick up a vehicle uh, about 20 minutes south of here. So I grabbed it, I came here, I figured I'd collect all the money, get everything going and make a little video again so you guys can keep up. So I'm gonna finish the rest of these. Bucket is getting full and hopefully I made some more money. I also have to pay some bills, so we'll do that with some quarters and I'll talk to you guys soon. Adding up some quarters. This is the stuff I like to see. I have my big bucket and uh, I just teared the weight 91.4. Now I get to do some math. Don't forget 80 quarters, $20, 80 quarters, one pound. So let's do some math. Seems like a good week so far. And uh, I'm going to just keep on going and make sure that I got everything all good to go. Sweep, mop, do all the fun stuff, and then uh, I'm going to get out of here. But uh, I'll let you guys know the totals in a little bit. Guys, I'm on the way home from the laundromat. Um, basically, I'm just going to do some rounding of some numbers just to make it easier. For the dryers, I had $465. And for the washers, um, I almost completely filled that uh, three-gallon bucket. And uh, it was $1,850. So, again, that's two weeks. And I'm glad that I emptied them because some of the machines had so many quarters that when I was pulling the trays out, quarters were falling out. So I'm glad that I got there and emptied it out. Hopefully I can still continue to make that kind of money. Don't forget guys, this is a small town laundromat and the city where it is located has a population of less than a thousand. So I don't expect to like make thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars like some of these places in big cities or that you see on YouTube collecting thousands of dollars every you know one day or two days I, I'm not doing that which it's perfect for me because I can't be there every single day I can't be there every other day I do pay people to help me run it and do that if I could make that kind of money I'd love to be able to pay people to help me but for right now just getting into the laundromat business I'm okay with what it's making like I said I'm paying the bills I'm getting everything taken care of and still having a little bit of money at the end of the month when all the bills are paid. So I'm not gonna complain about that. I will try to get you guys the rest of the numbers and show you kind of what everything is costing me and what I'm making. So we'll get back to you. The other thing I will tell you, I'm trying to get some vending machines. Not only am I trying to get vending machines, but I also wanna put a couple of arcade games in there just to kinda have something to do for people so it's it's all money that needs to get spent i think what i'm going to do is uh reevaluate my uh, pretty much everything and see exactly what i can sell and what i can get rid of to make some quick money and flip a few things so that way i can buy these vending machines and buy these arcades i'm also buying arcade games for the mini golf course 
So I guess, like I said, it's back to square one and seeing what I can do to make some money, sell a bunch of junk, stuff that I don't use, stuff that's just laying around the shop. Let's get rid of that stuff. Let's make some real money so that way I can get things in here who will continue to make some money. So that's it for this time, guys. Check in later.